I felt like my life was in danger, but without really knowing what was happening. Many people told me that I was brave to leave, but um, I don't think I was brave. I was too afraid to stay. He came home after work one day and he push my my head in the shower and turn off the shower and turn off the lights. My husband would say that I would rather kill the kids to have them, you know, before I let them go. Then he proceeded to, to push me across the apartment and then I could see my daughter's face. Like that was, I think, the most terrifying thing, just seeing her face of like terror. Domestic violence affects people differently. Each person, they have their own path, they have their own um, journey, they have their own story. Unfortunately, domestic violence and even human trafficking is such a serious issue that our community faces. And statistics show that one out of three women and one out of seven men will be or have been affected by domestic violence within the lifetime. We were founded in 1976 and we have over 43 years of experience in providing the tools and resources for individuals and families experiencing domestic violence. We have our housing program, our counseling program, our legal services, and our community education and prevention. At the very beginning, um, I met with a counselor who was very understanding and was ready to, you know, just let me express what I was going through. My persistence from being at the shelter, I had, I didn't have to think about going and getting groceries. I didn't have to think about, you know, oh, did I bring blankets or anything? Like I literally just came with very few things and WTLC provided everything. I was very happy that at least for one night I, I can put my thoughts together with my kids in a safe environment. Without WTLC, um, there would be a lot of people who do not have access to much needed resources, but we are here to reach out to them, invite them to our doors, to our shelter program, and we provide them with any supportive services at no cost. It's not a one-size-fits-all, so we really have our clients direct us how we could help them. Probably one of the biggest misconceptions is that individuals who have endured injustice don't know the solutions of their injustice. They're not able to come up with those solutions because if they did, clearly they wouldn't have been in that situation to begin with. But what we find out time and time again is that survivors really do know what they need. At the end of the day, they know what they're looking for. They know the best way to care for their children or their extended family. Having uh, people who's looking out for you with resources it helps you better understand the things that you can do for yourself that no one else can do. I didn't feel it was fair for me uh, to just drop school and just drop everything that I was doing. I was like, I don't want to just like run and hide and stop doing everything. I just went back to school. I want to finish my bachelor's. My daughter's in all these activities. I was like, I want to continue the normalcy as much as possible. Our current contracts really fund our core services, but it's with the support from our donors and our private funders that really allow us to be innovative in our service delivery. So we really get to be survivor driven and take risks in doing some cool things. So for example, we are the only domestic violence shelter that accept pets. I didn't change my daughter, I didn't change myself. I just grab like my daughter's like extra clothes. I grab my dog. I got my homework. <laughs> Those are the only things I could think about, and then I just left. The process it heals you little by little. Just seeing the growth in the participant from when they first initially come in to when they leave. You start seeing how the self-esteem just kind of goes up by coming to the groups or even just having that counseling session. You see the difference right away. We recognize that we all have a role to play in, that we can all eradicate violence from our personal lives, the lives in our communities, and we can all um, support those who have experienced some really deep trauma. 
And as a collective body, we can see the end of violence. And I think that's what's really exciting is being able to envision a world where there is no more violence. Like, what does that look like? It just makes me like wanna give back to, to that and to help other females and to have a voice and to be like, hey, you know what? Yes, it happens. I went through it, but look, I, I came out of it. So if I can do it, so can you. It made a difference for me, and I know it has made a difference for a lot of people. Without this support, I don't know where I will be. Or I don't know if I'll be alive. I wouldn't be here at this point without them. We are here to provide and be that support for our community. So we invite you to come over to learn more about our programs and services and how you could be involved.